To begin this project, we will need an 8-dip socket, an Arduino, an ATtiny85, an ATtiny programmer's shield, or a 10UF capacitor. A passive infrared motion sensor, and one of those relays that comes with the circuit. A dual general purpose IC per Ford and a single pole double throw switch with an off position. An eighth inch male mono jack and an eighth inch female mono jack. Red board with jumper wires and a 10k ohm resistor. A USB cable and finally lots of wire. To begin this project, we are going to create the circuit on our breadboard, just to make sure that everything is functioning properly. Everything gets wired according to the schematic. Go ahead and upload the sketch to AT Tiny at this time. Insert the 8 dip socket into the cork board, then bend the leads over and saw them down. Insert two wires into the top of the perf board with the red wire on the right side and the black wire on the left side. Then the other side of these wires gets soldered to the 8th inch female mono jack. The red wire goes to the middle connector and the black wire gets soldered to the lead on the far end. This will be the main power source on the perf board. Solder three wires to the switch. Solder the middle wire from the switch to the power on the perf board. Connect one of the remaining wires to pin 8 on the IC and the last wire gets soldered to pin 2. Bend the leads over on a 10 gram resistor. Place this into the breadboard so that one end is connected to ground and the other end is connected to pin 2 on the IC. Connect the motion sensor and the relay to the circuit. Press in the ATtiny85 into the socket. Congratulations, you're done with the circuit. Let's now construct the power cable. We will begin by wiring everything up according to this amazingly graphical schematic. Cut and strip both ends of a medium length telephone cable. Cut and strip the end of your 8th inch mono jack. Connect the red and green wires of the audio jack to the red and green wires of the telephone cable. Strip the ends of a USB cable and cut off the green and white wires. To the other side of the telephone wire, connect the USB cable. You should now have a power cable with an audio jack on one end and a USB cable on the other. Let's get started with putting this whole thing together. Begin by trimming off any excess first board. You will want it to be as small as possible. Now if you'll notice the relay won't fit in the project box. So I'll take my trusty German and trim down the edges. Now the whole circuit should fit nicely inside the project box, except for the motion sensor. In the top of your project box, drill two holes. A quarter inch bit works wonders. It is time to cut a hole from the motion sensor. Take off the front of the lens and use a sharpie to draw a template. When cutting with the Dremel, be very careful. The plastic melts easily and the risk of cracking is higher than normal. Widen the hole that the screws go through. The size of your hole may vary. On one side, you need a hole big enough so that your female audio jack can fit in nicely and the other side so that you can put your switch through. Be very careful when drilling these holes. As you can see, I wasn't careful enough and I accidentally cracked the plastic. Glue the female audio jack down and make sure that the male jack fits in nicely. Finish the cover by gluing down the motion sensor, the switch, and the audio jack. Let's brush on some electrical tape, not to be confused with this. Brush the tape on the back side of the relay context. This will increase safety and reduce the risk of shorting out your wires. Now it's out to your garage or basement. Turn off the circuit breaker that is going to your ceiling fan. Double check to make sure that it is off. Unscrew the light switch and cut the wires going to it. Strip the ends of these wires, but keep them short. Wrap some electrical tape around the ends just for some reinforcement. Now stick one wire to the left hole of your project box and into the middle contact C. Screw it down tight. Make sure there is no bare wire exposed. Now take the second wire and stick it through the right side of the box and into the right contact and O of the relay. Now it is time to jam everything into the wall. I wound up just cutting off the whole bottom half of the project box. Wrapping the whole circuit in electrical tape might have been more practical. Squeeze some hot glue around the edges of the light switch cover. Press it onto the wall quickly and wipe away any excess. 
Note, when wiping away hot glue, it will burn. Plug the cell phone charger into the wall, then plug your power cable into the USB. Plug the other end of your power cable into the audio jack into your wall, and power it up. Turning the switch one way will make the light stay on as long as the circuit has power, and turning the switch the other way activates the motion sensor. I don't really like the way the cover looks, so I made a sticker to cover the project. I'm going to quickly show the pictures of the steps I took to make the project. Print out your label on a sticker and cut it out. Push out the holes for the switch in the audio jack, then place it on the switch cover. Guesstimate the size hole needed for a motion sensor, then cut out with scissors. Press the sticker onto the cover. You may have to unscrew the nut holding down the light switch. Put the sticker on, then screw it back on. Congrats, you're done. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment box or PM me. Until next time.